Today I will show you how you can really easily create amazing 2D drawing cityscape in Photoshop. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanian and welcome to another really fun Photoshop episode. So you already know what we will do, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Alright guys, we'll start with blank piece of paper and you can choose any aspect ratio, any resolution that you like. I'm here choosing 4x5 just for fun, it doesn't matter. The aspect ratio and resolution depends on where you want to publish this photo or this artwork, whatever you're doing. So this is the seventh, I think seventh episode in uh, uh, this series of 2D drawing and today we will draw some buildings. So first, what I like to do is to go with solid color and choose a color for our background. And for that I will go with something bright. I know we can change that later, but I will go with something like orange. I didn't plan this in the front, so now you're seeing me doing this for the first time. So let's see how this will look at the end. Okay, I will create a new layer. I will go with with polygon lasso tool because with this I can create straight lines. And if I'm holding shift, I can make these kind of 90 degrees and 45 degrees angle lines and the idea is to create just silhouette of a buildings like you can see right here but I will make it a little bit better so the idea is to create several different planes of buildings so to have like the some kind of depth in in the scene here so first what I like to do is to go and create the first building probably somewhere here then I will go with the second one and this is the idea I'm holding shift all the time, so this is how it looks. And now I will fast forward this because I'm just holding shift and drawing these shapes. Okay, and now I will go all around here, oops, right there, and double click and um, find, uh, uh, finish the path and uh, now I will choose another color and because we have a background with this bright orange tone I will go with a little bit darker tone and I will use for these tones from orange towards the red how we are going towards the camera towards us here I will go with the darker and more reddish tone just for fun we can always change the colors don't worry about the colors so I will go with something like like this and create a new layer and just press in this case because this is a foreground color alt or option key on a mac and backspace and we will fill it with that color so i will deselect this control or command on a mac d and this is it we can always go here and change the colors we can go with the hue and saturation adjustment layer and just clip it on this and play with different tonality different brightness different saturation etc so don't worry now about the colors we can also change the background maybe I want background to be a bit brighter and maybe a little bit more saturated or whatever so I can always go and change everything now let's concentrate on making I will just delete this for now making several different plane of these buildings so I'm creating a new layer I will go again with the lasso tool and I will fast forward everything it's completely the same procedure but with that difference that now the gap between buildings the space between buildings is a little bit smaller as I'm going and making new planes the gap between buildings will be bigger as in real life if you are closer to the building then you will see a bigger gap between buildings if you, the buildings are further away from you you will see see that gap as a little bit smaller so this is the only difference now let's fast forward everything And now I will go and choose another color, a little bit towards the red and a little bit darker than it was like this, okay? And here is the second plane. Already we have some kind of depth, two planes, seascape, pretty cool. Let's go create another layer and again, exactly the same procedure. Again, a little bit darker color and a little bit more towards the red. And I will fill it with that. And now for the last plane, I will go exactly the same thing and create a few more buildings. And again, I will go with a little bit darker tone, a little bit reddish tone and fill it with that. And this is it. This is pretty cool cityscape. Also, what we can do now, we can go and move everything a little bit down if we want. 
depends how we want this to be or change different planes a little bit more up a little bit more down depends on what we want to achieve but this looks pretty nice for the first start you can always go in any of these single layers and move it left and right and also play with it i will maybe maybe i'll leave it like this and also you can add a few more details if you want etc okay you can always repaint and do whatever you want let's go with this one and move it a little bit up also i can go right here create a new layer and just go with elliptical marquee tool press and hold shift and just add some kind of a sun Mm, let's go like this and fill it with white in this case control or command and backspace and this is it now we have a sun here that is rising or setting down depends what we want to achieve because these are the oranges orange type of colors this probably can be some kind of a sunset this is pretty cool and obviously the more further away buildings are it will be more desaturated and more uh, brighter so we will and we can play with every single of these as i already said hue and saturation clip it affect this and make it maybe even brighter less saturated and let's fast forward this i'll go with every single plane here so this is the option you don't need to do this you can do whatever you want so now what i will do i will go and add a few more details now we have a rough shape of buildings but we need to improve these buildings a little bit to add a few more details some windows and a few other things so i will go start with these ones here and this is the top layer right there and what i can do i can hmm, now i messed up with, with these with these um, hue and saturation adjustment layers while you will see i will just hide them for now and later i will apply them again so I will create a new layer. I don't want to be affected by these hue and saturation adjustment layers. So I will just create a new layer, go with the brush and just alt and sample this color because I want to paint with this color. I will go with a rectangular marquee tool and now I will add some details. I will paint, just make something like this, fill it with that color, maybe uh, make some kind of windows here, something like this and see. And also what I can do with this is just I can press Ctrl or Command J just to have it on a separate layer and move it one here and then holding Alt or Option key just move with the move tool another there. Also I can make different type of these windows or whatever I can make something like let's try let's make something like like this okay on a new layer then I can go and create something like this and like that and then just a few of these bars so I'm just using rectangular marquee tool nothing special but just to create this kind of effect okay so let's see this is everything on a single layer and i can just again hold alt or option key and just make a copy of these just add a few of these on this side and also i can go on another side just let's see yeah all of these select all of these and press ctrl command e to merge them into one single layer like that alt or option key to make a copy ctrl or command t right click flip horizontal and then put it right there perfect and we have few details here and there also let's go with another layer and let's put something on this building maybe maybe something like I know some part on the roof a few more things here and there you can be really creative and do whatever you want with with these kind of things it's completely up to you let's go and add here a few things actually no I will delete this and I want to add some kind of different windows here but for that I will use again a lasso tool and the point here is just to just to be a little bit creative nothing special so I will fast forward this I'm just making just to see if this is on separate layer now it's not so I want this on a separate layer so I can move it and now I'll fast forward this and add these kind of windows and details all the way on the photo So this is it as you can see we already have much better image of the building so I can select all of these layers 
that I use for the details of the buildings like this, press Control or Command E to merge everything into one layer. I don't need to have it separately and I will eventually merge it with this layer down below. But now what I will do, I will do exactly the same thing for all the planes right there. So I will add the details. Uh, the further away I'm going the, uh, t towards the, 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 the sun practically, I will add less and less details because more details will be uh, in the first plane near, nearest the viewer. So let's fast forward this. Okay, so I just finished adding those small details and this is how it looks uh, with those details. It's much better, more complete image without these details. As you can see, it's not as interesting as with all these details. And now I will group, actually merge all these layers into one. So select details and the buildings, control or command E. And this is it. Now we can go and add those hue and saturation adjustment layers back to the image. And this is how it looks. I'm pretty happy with this. So we can add even more details. I can go with the sun here and probably I can add some birds. So let's see that. So I can go with this ones and yeah, they're too big. Let's make them smaller and I will put them somewhere here. Why not? Like they're flying way right there. And also I can make a layer mask here and just with the hard brush a little bit bigger. You can just erase a few of these birds because there are too many of them, I think. So we can we can separate them in a two group. Why not? Something like this. Or just leave this one here and maybe this one right there. It's just for, for adding details. Also, we can go and add a new layer and add some clouds if we want. So I can use my cloud dust brush for that and go with a white color and just make brush a little bit bigger and I can add some kind of a clouds here and there and I can add even more details if I want. I can leave it or I can just hide it. I will go without the clouds in this case. And let's see, let's, this is somewhere in the middle. And also we can go with the background and add a gradient there. So let's go with the gradient and let's go with, yeah, white is pretty okay. So we can make everything that is below the sun a little bit brighter. Something like this and then go here and change this. Maybe let's see, maybe like that. Hmm. What do you think guys? Everything is optional. Also, we can add some glow on the sun and we can add even more details to the image, etc. We can go all the way here. Let's group all the buildings together. So th these are birds, let's name this properly. We can merge all the buildings together, actually group, control, command G, let's name these buildings. And add hue and saturation adjustment layer right here and change the colors into something different. Maybe maybe something like, like th this, this can be a night scene. You know that in these kind of situations, I like to make day a night scene and just by changing the colors, changing the color of the sky and Maybe instead of the sun, you can set the moon there. And there you have it. So hmm, I like something like this. So also let's let's change the background. Let's copy this one. And this looks interesting. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe the background less saturated something like something like that. And also we can do 
just with one layer like this and I don't need this one so I don't want this to clip to anything just here and let me see we can go with this orange look we can go with I like the purple too so it's completely up to to your preference your choice I can maybe make this even darker so this is the, 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 the this one I think yep yeah. I can make it even darker yeah this is how I like it and maybe this one here a bit darker and this is cool also you can add as many details here as you want you can add some couples dancing on the top rooftop or whatever you can make the buildings a little bit bigger closer to the camera and then add even more details there you can add some persons there or doing whatever they want but this is the point you can really easily draw these kind of scenes these kind of cityscapes in photoshop in this 2d landscape design it's amazing and easy thing so in order to go with this into night scene I would go I would go like this change to something like this desaturate it a little bit and make everything uh, not with this but let's see like that make the sky darker so let's see the sky should be and now it's this color but let's let's make it darker like that and also lower the opacity a bit you can then play with the sun with elliptical marquee tool just create a moon out of it add a layer mask and here you have it you have a moon you can make it bigger smaller position whenever you want however you want rotate I don't know be creative and add the stars I already did that in my previous tutorial so check them out I don't want to waste your time here but you can add a lot of stars there and also what you can do in the buildings here is let's let's go out of the buildings let's go out of everything here as a new layer and you can add some some really cool details like small windows like let's go with elliptical marquito actually rectangular marquito like these kind of windows and use the orange and you can just make a copy of that and then you, you can say all right we have some lights in the buildings and you can you can make something like this all the way wherever you want I don't know it's up to you but you can add these type of details and have something like that too right guys so that would be it for today I really hope that you learned something new out of this episode uh, the possibilities are endless it's completely up to your imagination and what you want to create just try experiment with this check out also previous six episodes about 2d landscape 2d drawing in Photoshop and you can Combining all these techniques, you can make some amazing 2D art and use it for whatever you want. Have fun experiment and see you in my next fun episode. Bye bye.